Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, today, folks, I'm playing Brief Series. We use do for the water. I'll go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie, I am extremely excited for this one. <sighs> but we'll get to that. Folks, super simple format. I'm going to go over there and try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. Whilst I'm doing that, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear a super cool shirt, it's always like, I like the super cool shirt. Super cool shirt I wear today. Boom, it's my scold shirt. Which, it's this guy. It's right here. Uh, if you're not familiar with Mr. Tim Scold, he's a musician. He's from... Sweden? I think he's a Swedish musician? Something like that? I don't know, Sweden or Norway, something like that. Uh, he has been in the music scene for a good long while, I think at least since the 90s. Um, you know, he's done his own stuff, he's collaborated with a lot of people, he's been on soundtracks, that's actually where I became aware of him, he was on the Twisted Metal 4 soundtrack, uh, with the song Chaos, I fucking love that track. And dude is just super cool, super talented. And I was fortunate enough earlier this year, he uh, went over there, he was performing live on tour. I got to see him. I'm actually going to get to see him again next month at the time I'm doing this. He's going out with his, because he does his own solo stuff, and then he also has like this collaborative thing called Not My God with this other guy. And I guess that's going to be their first and last tour that they ever do. That's what they've said, so I'm going to go see him there. But anyway. Oh, by the way, I actually have some videos of the time that I saw Skold perform live. They're on the channel, too, just in case you're interested. But anyway, what am I trying for you folks? What are we doing here? Why am I excited for it? Well, folks, I'm excited because we happen to be reviewing one of my very favorite drinks of all time. Because, folks, we're doing, boom, it is Reading Draft White Birch Premium Soda. <sighs> So good! Yes. Here we go. Ah, 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 yes, it's delicious. Now here's the thing. Usually when I try stuff, it's stuff that I haven't tried before, or maybe it's been a while since I've tried it, or something like that. This, this is not the case. I love this stuff. Um, I don't drink it frequently, but you know, it, numerous times a year, I will go out and get this. I have made mention of the fact that root beer is one of my favorite drinks. It absolutely is. Birch beer might surpass it for me though it is very very close i love birch beer and this has been my favorite brand of birch beer reading draft and they have a few different varieties they have this they also have a white version a red version but the white birch is my personal favorite and i plan to share it with you fine folks i mean not literally it's mine you can't have it but so let's go ahead and open it up while my Neighbor does something in his weird pigeon shed that he has. There we go. And if you've never had birch beer, if you like root beer, absolutely try birch beer. If you've never had birch beer, though, it's a very interesting soda. Oh, that wonderful, wonderful smell. Let's give it a go. I do so love that. And the thing I like about it so much, because the thing with Birch Beer is a very strong, very potent taste. Um, and they use, like, they literally use, like, I think it's like birch sap, basically, like, from birch trees. That's how they get the flavor. Thing with the birch flavoring, it is interesting and delicious. It almost has, like, a mint-like quality to it. Um, and it actually has, like, a numbing sensation that can, you know, actually numb your mouth as you're drinking it. Thing about it is... When it comes to birch beer, you want to get the quantities right. You don't want too much birch beer, or you don't want too much birch flavor. You don't want too little birch flavor. If you get too much, it's overpowering, and, like, it's really, it's not much fun to drink. I, I've had a couple where I was like, just a bit too much for me. Conversely, if you get too little, well, then you're obviously not getting the real proper birch beer experience. Part of the reason why I like this particular birch beer is because I feel like it's very well 
rounded. It It's sweet, but you're also getting a nice birch flavor. You're getting that nice birch hit. But it's not overwhelming. It's hitting, doing what it needs to do, and then it's fading out. And it's got, it's got a dryness to it. You know, like it actually has a dryness to it. It's not, it's not the smoothest of drinks, if I can put it that way. But I don't mean that in a bad way. It has like a, it has complexity and it has like kind of a texture to it. And it gives it the, like this interesting dryness to it. It's part of the reason why I like it so much. it's just it's really good the the way that they've integrated the birch flavor into it i think it's just it works extremely well for me because again it's all about getting that combination right and a lot i would say most birch beers that are available really like you're just getting this hit of birch and it's like you know it's good it's still birch beer it's still good you're getting this like hit of birch beer and or you're getting this hit of birch flavor and it's just i don't know with this it feels like it's integrated throughout the entire drink so you're not just getting slapped with it you know you're getting to enjoy it throughout the entire thing and then kind of at the end you do get this stronger hit but it's not overbearing it's not you know i fucking love this stuff And Reading Draft, they make uh, a lot of different stuff. They make root beers. They actually have a pear soda, which I have one in my uh, in my fridge. That's going to be something I review coming up. I'm very excited for that. But this has always been my favorite of theirs. Maybe at some point in time I'll go over there and do like a like a bit of a birch beer special because I really do feel like birch beer doesn't get the love that it deserves. It's so good, and like. It's kind of, you know, it is. It's basically sort of like a cousin to root beer. It's not, it doesn't have the exact same flavor profile, but it is along those rhymes. You know, it's kind of a, kind of an earthy drink. I, I love this very much. Um, now, all that said, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? I mean, obviously I would, yes. But here's the thing, though. I would get it again because, well, I like it. It's one of my favorite drinks. It's really, really good. If I'm recommending it, the question is not only would I recommend it as a birch beer, but would I recommend it potentially as someone's first birch beer? Because if you've never had it, then, you know. And that's a little bit more of an interesting question. Because the thing is, I think, again, if you're somebody who you're already inclined to, towards these types of drinks you know your root beers maybe you know even to like an extent like your cream sodas and stuff like that um i would absolutely give it a shot you know and hopefully hopefully you'll enjoy it but there is like such a wide variety of different styles of birch beer would this be a good one to start off with and i personally think yes i think even though this one it has a fair amount of complexity to it so it might not be the easiest to get into, but again, it's it's very palatable. And it's a very drinkable birch beer without any of the potential pitfalls. You know, again, just having too much or having too little or, you know, really having like this big split between the flavors, between the sweetness and the birch. I think it's a very, very, very well-crafted, very well-balanced birch beer. And it's one that I would definitely recommend people get into. And if you want to go a little bit stronger, you can go a little bit stronger. If it's not for you, you know, there's other stuff available. Like I said, Reading Draft is a lot of stuff. And I don't think I've ever had anything from them that I didn't like. Uh, I think, I mean, I believe they do a Huckleberry Soda. And I might have reviewed that on this channel at one point, like years ago. Um, I remember that being a little bit, you know, wasn't quite as good as I was hoping from them. But... I've never disliked anything, you know, it's just, I, I do hold them to a strong standard, and for me, their white birch beer is probably my favorite drink that they make, so, but anyway, 
Five things before I get out of here, folks. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Spectacular rest of the week. Mind you, mentors, much dependence rest of your folks. You can go over there have yourselves a truly bird spiritastic rest of your life. It's just wonderful. It's a thing. And, you know, and, well, you know, we'll, we'll keep. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But, what you do can't do all the time. I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there with you in it. Okay, world is a stupid ass place sometimes, filled with terrible people who just blah 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 and just make your life miserable. And then there's all these goofy ass things that we have to deal with, and it's just like, oh. oh. But take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholeness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing, whatever the thing is for you. That's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe, maybe you're going to go over there, maybe you're going to try out some Burks beer for yourself. Maybe you'll be inspired. And maybe you'll go over there and you'll try out some Reading Draft White Birch beer. And maybe you'll go over there and be like, Brandon, I tried it and I didn't think it was the bee's knees the way that you said it was. Okay, well, that's fine. We can disagree. We can do that. You can be wrong. No, I mean, we can disagree. And, hey, you know, if that's the case, then go over there and put the challenge out to me and be like, damn it, Brandon, you have to go over there and... If you're going to be talking a bunch of stuff about birch beer, then damn it, you better go over there and review more birch beers. That way we know what the real business is. And maybe I'll go over there and make it a little bit of a thing. I don't have a birch beer playlist, but I do have a root beer playlist, obviously. And, uh, you know, maybe I will go over there. Maybe I'll make the birch beer thing a little bit more of a thing. I've got a, some nice places I can go to and get a wide variety of this stuff. And I don't know, maybe I'll do, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll do it as a special, maybe I'll do them as just individual things and just, you know, have it be spread out. I don't know. But, any excuse for me to drink birch beer? Bye.